What's up, boys? Let's talk next gen Madden. I think I'm done with it. Think I'm going back to current gen. More competition, better gameplay, more exciting games, more reasons for you to watch. I think that's the move. I enjoy it more. And really, that's the end of the story. You know, what I enjoy playing more is going to be what I play. And I think uh, I want my user to be more of an impact, man. If you guys like the slow user, I understand. Um, for me, I think, you know, at a higher level, you understand why a, a faster, more competent user is a good thing. You know, and I enjoy it and I enjoy the current gen a lot more than the next gen. But this is a next gen gameplay for the last three weeks. I've been using the Razer Wolverine 2, this version of their controller. They're putting a lot more effort into their console products, man. So if you want to check out this controller, this is what I've been using to make all my moves in the open field, to find all my receivers and make all the plays I can with the user on next gen and on current gen, no matter what man I play. This is what I've been using for probably about the last month now. I love it. It's a wired controller. It has extra buttons up top. If you want to program them for different games that you play, you can change the thumbstick sensitivity as well. All the manufacturing is the same quality as they have with all their computer accessories. So for me, I'm, I'm really enjoying this controller. I'm going to be using it going forward. So you want to check that out. All those links are below uh, for the Razer. And listen, at the end of the day, they're supporting the Madden community and the console community. This is where we thrive. So shout out the Razer for that. But this is a next gen gameplay. So let me know what you guys think about it, man. Get this one to 500 likes. I will drop my no money spent next gen gameplay. Yes, we brought them boys to next gen. If you guys want to check out the streams, you guys know the link, all the socials, everything is below, man. But let's get into this gameplay. All right, boys, I'm gonna be honest. Not my cleanest game here. Not my cleanest effort. I'm um, learning a new game is kind of challenging, kind of different. A lot of things are different. Timing, uh, man beating routes, pass leads. A lot of things are different. And I'll be real with you guys. This is not my cleanest game as Tony Romo breaks a sack. But Ed Reed gets him. I'll tell you, breaking sacks suck, but it's hard to make a play after you break the sack. We get a huge pick first drive. Ed Reed at safety. He's a boss. Ed Reed, uh, probably the second best safety ever behind Brian Dawkins. I said it there. Brian Dawkins, best safety ever. Um, I have Brandon Ayuk, who I try, oh, I try to hit Tyreek Hill right there in a diving interception. Out of bounds. Somehow got his knee in. And next play, he's going up top. To Chad Johnson, not Tyree Kill, not McLaurin. Uh, Chad Johnson is scorching DRC. Now, DRC might be outdated. Is he on your team anymore? Is he starting outside? I've always loved DRC and Dion. I love those guys, but DRC is kind of getting whooped this game. Right here, Josh Allen, we're going to step up. We're going to put a little touch on the ball. Brandon Ayuk, I think the best slot receiver in the game. He has slot archetype. He has slot omatic for 2 AP. I have slot omatic on him. That's it. He's going to make some plays. He's going to get it done. This time he tries chat again. Ronnie Lott says no. Shuts the door on that. Ronnie Lott, I believe, plays the other safety for me right now. I, I don't know who I'm rocking, who I'm messing with. I know that new Woodson card is coming out as I try to go up top. And Fuller gets me back right there. Just too greedy right there. But we get a huge sack here on third down. We get him to a fourth down. Uh, we just got to get off the field. That's what it is. I'm on Dwight Freeney. I block shot. I go boom. And he hits me with a quick dot to Cooley over the middle. Uh, stay alive. That's all. I mean, he stayed alive, hit Cooley. Um, I was on the D-tackle a lot this game. Uh, the user's that bad that I decided, you know what? I'm going to play a little bit of D-tackle right there. He throws right at a vert hook, and it bounces off somebody's face. Next play goes to a little hitch underneath the Cooley. Um, then he runs a toss right here. And Chin, I'm just so slow. My Like, I guess that was a good run. Uh, just, uh, I... I was a little slow. Chin took a wide angle. Looks like he was in concrete. And concrete happens when he misses the extra point right there. Um, but so we just got to make some plays. So we go up top. Metcalf, touchdown. This team, I still have Metcalf and Tyree Kill. I can't wait to get that new Deion Sanders to play opposite of Tyree Kill. That's going to be two really fast cards um, that defenses will have to deal with. But like I said, I use Brandon Ayuk and then as I get a shed right there with the... <laughs> with the D-tackle user and Dwight Franey, but I get roughing the passer. Sometimes you got to let the no quarterback you're there. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. You can live with a roughing the passer a couple plays a game. Uh, not a couple plays, but at least once a game, you can rough the passer. Let the quarterback know it's going to be a long day. Um, did that with Franey. That's cool. But I do have Brandon Ayuk, and this play is going to scramble, get out of bounds. Uh, I do have Brandon I like him because he has 95 speed, uh, and he plays that slot. 
up top he goes down the middle to uh Bakuli is kind of killing me high key right here once again Barkley gets in the end zone up he's gonna go for two early in the game chase that point that he missed with the two-point conversion he'll gonna scramble for it but unprecedentedly just pull up and try to throw the ball right there it looked like he had a wide open run in with there with uh Tony Romo but he doesn't get it because he was across the line doesn't get a play right there but we get this play up top Tyreek Hill boom uh Devin McCourty has no shot to catch Tyreek I will tell you on next gen if you guys are playing you guys notice that um it is ridiculous how fast Tyreek Hill is he goes up top again Ronnie Lott with another pick. We're under one minute here in the first half. Uh, we are just throwing picks back and forth. We're just letting it go. And I tried to lob that. Thought I would get the ball way further downfield than it was. And he lobbed it pretty much right where Ayuk was. He beat the corner and just, I didn't get the pass lead I want. I didn't even get the trajectory on the ball that I wanted. Throw another pick. So, you know, we're, we're turning the ball over here. I told you guys this was not the cleanest game i told you guys that i did not I, I warned you fairly not the cleanest game but we're going to make some plays out here we're down by one getting the second half kickoff got to make some things happen brandon Ayuk right there and it goes through his one hand that one hand animation has killed me all year has killed me all year uh and next play we go for the in route but somehow taylor mays was sniffing it out in a spy picks it off i mean i gotta see the spy um I don't know. I, I'm not mad that he picked that. I got to do a better job of seeing where he's at right there. Get a couple yards with Josh Allen. That's why I kind of like him more than Favre. Just that little bit of mobility to get 10 yards when things break down. That one-hand animation, it's killing me. I hate it. I I dropped it so much this year. There it is. Brandon Ayuk beating Night Train Lane, making uh, Marlon Humphrey miss getting a big game he has a huge game for me i really like that slot of matic and we try to go up top right here and he picks me off i felt like i had the man to man beat but you know his user was over there he was playing center field played safe able to get the pick right there i had tunnel vision just on the man coverage and he has tunnel vision on this post route to metcalf beats me up top a clean pass uh this guy now has 36 points on me in the third quarter not happy with what's going on right now on the defensive side of the ball. Brandon Ayuk again, nice little 10 yard gain. Uh, we're, we're sloppy right now on the offensive side of the ball. Brandon Ayuk again, he's he's having a huge game. I, honestly, when people play this much man coverage, he's the guy to go to. Right here, we go to Vernon Davis on that post route over the middle. We pick up a cool shoot. That was damn near 40 yards on that post route underneath the Vernon. He runs some people over, reaches for the first down. Um, that's why I'm running a tight end right now. Vernon Davis, mostly because Niners chem. Uh, I have Niners chem and I have Chiefs chem right now. So Vernon Davis is on the field. Um, I think Waller is still the best. I do, especially with that that update as well. As I try to go hitch right here, knocked away, or I get a bad pass. Third and six. We're going to find Tyreek with a beautiful touch pass in the back of the end zone to go ahead and uh, get within eight points, man. Eight points and guess what? drc is getting abused again i don't know if that's cover three man shaded up it's not man press i wouldn't do that it's either a cover three or it's man shaded up which on on current gen you don't really get beat when you shade up but drc is giving me the business i don't know he might have some type of route tech or something like that on him uh to make sure he can go ahead and beat that man coverage as you see i have five interceptions right now that is why we are down by 15 points here with three minutes left to go in the fourth quarter, but we have done more with less and we have been down before we find Tyreek Hill. Go up top, boom, touchdown. We're down by eight right now. Perfect striking distance. We just have to get the ball back. Um, we can't let him score any more points. We have three minutes left, uh, plenty of time to get the ball back. But we have to make some plays on defense. We have to stop Chad Johnson on streaks. I don't know uh, what I have to do differently out there. Next play, he goes up. Deion with the pick, or it bounces off his fingers. Deion Sanders. Yeah. Next play, coming out in a bunch. He's going to fire right at the yellow zone swat. Okay. Okay. Third and 10. He's going to drop back, find nowhere to go with the football. Boom. Deion Sanders around the edge. Huge play. Getting that sack. We are down by eight. Plenty of time to go. We got to make a play right here. Got to get a two-point conversion, too. That's the that's the toughest part of this game left is getting that two-point conversion. Just now, time is still kind of a factor because you have to prepare yourself to not get that two-point conversion, man. So you have to uh, 
just leave a little bit of time on the clock. That's why it's always great being up eight points because you know you still have that two-point conversion to lean on if you do give up the touchdown. But right here, he gives up the touchdown, but Josh Allen soars it. I, I don't want to say I'm getting cheated. I feel like I'm, I'm just fighting the game a little bit. That's all. Get out of bounds with Reggie Bush. We have to save some time if we have to get the ball back. I don't really want to use my timeouts here. And we hit Vernon Davis underneath. Touchdown. We have to get this two right here. We're down by two. Biggest play of the game is this two-point conversion. We make a read and we find Tyreek with a quick pass. Two-point conversion. Good. We're up. Or we tie the game. We're down by 15. Three minutes left in the game. We tied the game up. Uh, feeling good now. I feel like I just got to play my defense. And right here, he goes screen first play. Chin is so slow. DRC is terrible. We get juked. We get bounced off. We what player on the field right there looked like he wanted anything to do with defense right there. Huge play for him. Next play, he goes again underneath the Barkley. Gets out of bounds. He's already in field goal range. I have three timeouts. I can get the ball back if I hold him to three right here. He goes with a play action. I fight on the play action. He hits Tony Gonzalez. Bounces off a tackle and actually scores. This is okay because we'll get the ball back. I, I don't know what's going on. I wish I could tell you guys my defense on next gen is offensive. But... We get the ball back. 50 seconds left. Reggie Bush underneath. We're going to pick up a cool 20 yards to start the drive. That's the way to go. We are at the 50-yard line now. Only need a touchdown. Feeling good. Reggie Bush, throw that. Don't get out of bounds. We have to use a timeout. We have two timeouts left. 40 seconds left. Josh Allen's going to drop back again. We have the corner route. We're going to just touch past this to Tyree Kill. Get out of bounds. Wish I would have got a little bit more on that right there. But we're at the 27-yard line. 36 seconds left. Josh Allen has to make a play. He has to find somebody. Who better than Brandon Ayuk? A nice big play. We're at the 11-yard line. 30 seconds. One timeout left. I'm going to step up here, look for Reggie Bush, but hit Brandon Ayuk in the back of the end zone. He has been whooping his corner all game. We tied the game up 50-50. to 50. Some people say go for two. Uh, no, I, I, I'm not a go for two guy unless the person you're playing you think is better than you and you don't have a chance in overtime. This guy, I'm going to make a play in overtime. He has 20 seconds. He's going to force the ball down the field right here. And Taylor Mays comes up with a huge pick in the deep blue on Cooley, who's been killing me all day. 14 seconds. One timeout. We have Omaha activated. We see his defense. We're going to roll out right here. He bails with the safety and we throw back across to my man Metcalf. Fall down inside the 10 yard line. We're going to use our last time out here with three seconds left on the clock and kick this game winning field goal, man. And you guys know, have I ever missed the ice field goal on the stream or in my life? No, I really, I think I'm undefeated on ice field goals. We kicked that GG's in the chat. We got one second left. We're going to kick it deep. Actually, we give him a chance and he doesn't take the chance. I would have took the chance right there for the kick return. Comes out and held Mary. I'm just full sending. And honestly, he kind of got behind the defense of his quarterback. Had, like, his, if his quarterback could throw 100 yards, he got behind the defense right there. So, like I said, next gen Madden. Not in love with it. Not enjoying it as much as the current gen. I don't know. Like I said, if you guys have a different opinion, comment below on what you think. Like I said, Brian Dawkins is the best safety all time. 500 likes. I post my no money spent next gen video.